You might think these are just normal solar panels, right? Just boring, ordinary solar panels catching a few hours of sun every day. Well, think again, because there is a beast hiding underneath. This solar tracker takes rise and shine to a whole new level. Inspired by dump trucks, it's a low profile design high on ambition. The thing is, once you build a solar tracker, the real challenge begins, finding friends who want to hear about your solar tracker. So I made this video to talk about it with you. My roof faces east, so my panels only work half the day. By noon, the sun's behind the house and my panels are like shifts over. That's where the solar tracker comes in, making sure they don't clock out early and boost my power by up to 25%. It's like a coupon for sunshine, 25% extra free of charge. Let's get started, shall we? I have only three requirements for this project. The design should be low profile, but strong enough to lift the panels. Why a low profile? Because sometimes the best workers are the ones you barely notice. Besides, it looks cool and you might be able to impress your neighbors. Second, one access, one mission. Follow the sun, no distractions, no detours. Finally, it shall have safety features. I made three different designs. The first two looked bulky. The third one, however, looked promising. I went with the so-called scissor design for three reasons. Low profile, plenty of lift, and it just looks cool. It's inspired by dump trucks. And no, it doesn't beep when it moves. Yeah. Crunching the numbers gives me an idea which motor I should choose, then it was time for designing the whole thing in CAD to make sure everything fits and works together. I choose aluminum profiles because they are lightweight, easy to assemble, and make me look like I know what I'm doing. The tilt looked perfect in CAD. Now comes the hard part, convincing reality to cooperate. It is a 30 seconds build montage. Why pink? I asked my daughter. Putting everything together was a lot of work, but it was worth it at the end. Then it was time to run a smoke test. I was holding my breath, but the tracker was like, Can yeah, you just one minute, please? It didn't just lift the panels, it lifted my confidence in the whole project. Then it was time to bring it to where it belongs. Up to the roof, put everything back together and make sure that everything still works as before. It worked! But it's not just moving the panels, I wanted the tracker to think too. I used two photoresistors that detect sunlight direction and send signals to the microcontroller. The tracker's brain. This lets the system adjust itself automatically, following the sun all day. Just like this demo, two photoresistors chilling in a 3D printed holder. They are like two sandbathing siblings separated by a little wall. When the sun hits one side more, the other one gets jealous and increases resistance, literally. The tracker measures that jealousy or voltage difference and tells the motor, all right, move the panel so everyone gets equal sunshine. It's like the ultimate siblings rivalry solution. Building things is one thing, building things that are safe, that's another tier entirely, and trust me, when you are dealing with electric motors, heavy panels, and nature mode swings, safety isn't optional, it's essential. That's why the tracker is packed with safety features. First up, the anemometer, basically a fancy word for wind sensor. When the wind gets too wild, it signals the tracker to stay flat, like saying, okay, time to stay grounded. I also added current sensor to each motor. If one motor stalls or fails, the system detects the imbalance in current and shuts off to protect the frame from getting damaged. This safety feature helps everything running smoothly, even if something goes wrong. Adding the end switch was a no-brainer. This little hero makes sure that the tracker doesn't get too ambitious and try to tell itself into another dimension or a time zone. It's like adding a leash to a dog that's a little too excited to chase squirrels. I also added spring-loaded arms because why should motors do all the heavy lifting when physics can lend a hand? The springs help the motors lift the panel where it's mostly difficult. It's like having a spotter at the gym. Besides, the panels deserve a soft landing after a long day chasing the sun. 
prevent the frame from wiggling around, I added these two air springs. They help keeping everything tight and they also support the motors. And here's my favorite part, the entire tracker is smart full control. I can adjust the angle manually, set safety thresholds and even move the panel just by swiping on my phone. My neighbors are probably wondering why my panels keep tilting every few minutes. The answer? It's me. I can't stop pressing the buttons. If the tracker has feelings, I bet that's how it feels right now. The real test will come next summer when I will finally measure how much extra energy I'm capturing with this tracker. I'm hoping for a 25% boost, but we will see what the data says. If you want to see how much of a difference this tracker can make, hit subscribe and stick around for part 2. But before I wrap this up, I want to take a moment to step back and reflect on something bigger. While we are here finding ways to harvest the sun energy for convenience and efficiency, there are places in the world war torn regions like in Gaza where access to basic energy, clean water and safety is a daily struggle. By the time of making this video, over 42,000 people were killed in Gaza. Almost half of them are children. Let's all do what we can to help and push for a ceasefire. Thanks for watching.